Today I'm going to talk about a topic which most of you probably never thought you'd hear me talk about. Is Gorilla Tag truly dying? People have said that it's dying recently since the number of players online each day has gotten down to roughly 20,000. And the average a few months ago was probably 55,000 players online a day. That's just a guess. And people think that means that Gorilla Tag is dying. But I'm here to explain why I think Gorilla Tag isn't dying and why it won't be dying for a while now. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Now if you go into a lobby and you're not actually in a room, you'll see here it says players online. And there's only 24,000 players online right now as I'm playing. If you didn't know for Gorilla Tag, that's pretty low right now. So I think Gorilla Tag isn't probably going to die for a while because of this. So we have all these holidays like Christmas and Halloween and just things like that. And that brings a lot of new players to the game usually, especially Christmas. If you ever played Gorilla Tag in Christmas, you know the player count jumps. It literally skyrockets. This is because all the little Timmies are getting their VR headsets at Christmas time and they get on Gorilla Tag. And this is also why you see all the bad players, <coughs> little Timmy. And that's one major reason why Gorilla Tag won't be dying soon. Every year there's always going to be a new group of players that join the game. And there's also people who actually want to save money for their VR headsets too at any time of the year. And I actually did that myself. There's also a few other reasons why Gorilla Tag probably won't die soon, such as interacting with your friends, maybe hopping on and just playing a game of tag or mini games when you're in Gorilla Tag. Or maybe you just want to try and go and buy some cosmetics or something, or just try and do different things in the game, such as challenges. Overall, Gorilla Tech has a lot of things to do that can keep you occupied, especially when it's snowing outside in the middle of winter. And this is why Gorilla Tag probably won't die soon. Also, another quick reason is because they have things like the seasonal cosmetics, as you can see here. While there is all these cosmetics in the shop, there is also things like these and these that can keep players occupied every few weeks that they release. With all the little flashbacks and different updates, such as recently revamping the clouds, keep players coming back for more. Not gonna lie, it's almost like a marketing technique. And not only do they have these as just cosmetics, you can also use them such as play the guitars. And with all of the content in the game, it never truly becomes boring. This is one of the main reasons I think that some storyline games get boring. Eventually you beat it and you 100% everything in the game and then there's just nothing else to do. You could make up your own challenges, but eventually even that gets boring. And since Gorilla Tag constantly has updates, it truly helps with this. And that's why I think Gorilla Tag definitely will not die for a while. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see a review of me playing Old Caves, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.